Hey everyone, it's Connor from Coifin here. We recently released support for linear regression and R squared in our market scatter plot chart. And today I want to briefly highlight that. So let's navigate to the market scatter by going to the left hand side under analytics and market scatter. You'll see now that we have an annotation in the bottom right hand side of the chart, and this is for linear regression. If you press this icon, it will turn on and off. And you can see that we have the line of best fit going through the chart. We also have the y equals equation and the r squared up here as well. That's about it as far as functionality goes, and we'll, we'll run for an example as well. But just to explain what linear regression is, perhaps for a second. So linear regression is a model or a, a computation, and it creates this output, which is this line here. It's a statistical method that models the relationship between two variables, in this case, the x and the y-axis, by fitting a straight line or the regression line through the data points in a scatter chart. It can help you identify trends and predict outcomes. It's supposed to be a predictive model. And the line will show the dependent variable, which is the, the y-axis, in this case, EBIT, and how that changes with the independent variable, which is the x-axis, in this case, total return. And up here, we have the equation of the linear regression. So y equals a number x plus a number. But we'll go over that in just a second. The r squared is a metric that quantifies how well the regression line fits the data. So it tells us the proportion of variance in the dependent variable explained by the independent variable. So a high r squared, it ranges from 0 to 1, indicates a strong relationship, and a low r squared suggests a weak correlation. So you might have a line of best fit, but if the correlation is weak, then that's something to consider as well. So maybe we can run through an example here. So I'm going to take the Russell 2000, and I'm now going to take total return 10 years. So let's take total return 10 year. And then I'm also going to take basic EPS Kager over a 10-year period as well. So let's scroll down 10 years. Actually, this might be easier to interpret if I flip these around. So I'm going to put the 10 year on the y-axis and the EPS on the x-axis. Okay, so now we have it. Let's let's go through the examples. So we have on the x-axis, we have the basic EPS Kager over 10 years. On the y-axis, we have the total return over a 10-year period. The universe of stocks is the Russell 2000. We have our equation here, and we have our r squared. So first, let's see what this means. So y, in this case, is the y-axis variable. So that's going to be total return. This part here, number and x, the x represents the x-axis variable, so basic EPS Kager over 10 years. And this number is the slope. So what this is telling me here is that for every 1% increase in X, which is the basic EPS Kager, the total return increases by about 0.7%. So if the EPS Kager goes from 10 to 11%, total return would rise by just under a percentage point. The intercept, which is this part here, is the point at which the EPS Kager is zero. So when the two lines cross, and in this case, if the EPS Kager is 0%, the model would predict a total return of about 1.3748% over 10 years. And lastly, we have R squared here as well. So this equation is basically summarizing the relationship between EPS growth Kager over 10 years and total return over 10 years. However, since this R squared output is fairly low at 0 0.1135, the line only weakly explains the variation in total return. So in plain English, this is basically telling us that other factors beyond EPS growth are significantly influencing total return for these stocks, which I think is accurate in this case. So that does it for this video. Just wanted to show you that we now have linear regression and maybe give you a bit of context as to why that might be useful. As always, if you have anything to say, you can drop it in the comment section below. Our help desk is help at coifin.com. We are at coifin charts across all of our socials. Until next time, thank you.